was talking to a friend the other day and she was telling me about, well, first, she is the type that is on the edge of believing all of these uh, stories about needing so many things before uh, getting a job and before uh, you can go into the store and she wears her cover wherever she goes and you know that's fine that's um, up to her you know I, I give her the information I give her uh, things that I've investigated and backed up um, through at least two different sources I try to do three and um, <clears throat> so she keeps going and getting tested you're allowed three tests a week if you are under, uh, if you receive government assistance, medical, um, she, which she does, they allow three tests a week. And you have to have so many tests in a row, negative, to be considered free of um, <laughs> their made up stuff, their stories, their lies. It's, I mean, it's real, I get it, it's a real thing, but it's something that they created and hyped to instill fear and control the population. So, so she's doing this three times a week. And she is also on Facebook. All right, now I guess in the documentation that she signed for the test has a release clause of some sort um, and I haven't seen it and she can't recall 100% but a third party said that it's in the paperwork that they signed that the information of their results can be released she went on her Facebook page and on her wall was posted by some under a name she didn't know that she had tested positive for CV on Facebook. This was posted to her account and she was uh, quite upset about it because she hasn't told anybody other than telling her boyfriend and me um, that she tested positive and is trying to find a negative uh, series of tests to be able to apply for a job. So. It's a real thing. I I, I, um, I trust her. It's not something that she would make up, and it didn't sound made up. Um, and I don't go on Facebook. I guess I could go check her page, but I'm going to take her at face value. So I just thought I'd let everyone know about that. Stay in the Word. Stay in prayer.